Good morning, everybody, or afternoon. Today we're gonna to be working on this reefer unit, changing the oil. Things or supplies, what you need, will be a five gallon bucket, oil funnel, oil filter clamps, uh, a size 19 wrench, and a 22 mil socket, and a ratchet. So first thing is first, we're gonna drain the oil, that's your drain plug, 22 mil. And then we're gonna clean, there's a canister right here, we're gonna clean that. Uh, it's a 19 right here, that's why you need the wrench for. A lot of times people don't do this when they're changing the oil, they forget about it. And then oil filter, fuel filter, and then we have the air filter back there. I'll get to that uh, step by step so everybody can see. So first thing is first, we're gonna open up the drain plug. coming out normally I hold it but it's a little windy today so we'll take the drain plug out and then you put it back in make sure that washer is in there we're draining the oil straight to the bucket a little of that uh, oil drain once it's all done I'll show you guys step two and three Alright, so I just uh, drained 15 quarts and uh, now we're going to tighten this drain plug. Once it's as tight, it's tight. Alright, and it's down. And then uh, we'll replace the oil filter. Alright, so I'll get your oil filter clamp in and then we're going to open it up. Oil in the new filter. It's 
bottom. Just like a diesel filter. A little oil in the filter, a little bit of oil around the seal, and we'll go ahead and stop. You can install this just by hand. Careful. <laughs> there it is. I'll take that out. Clean that. You can see it's already full of algae. Full of algae. And then I'll show you guys the rest. When you take this out, it's real simple. You just you can get a screwdriver or you can just twist it by hand. Once it comes out, you can clean it with some carburetor cleaner or you can break crust or whatever you have. But normally I like to clean this every time I do my change. For those that want to know what kind of spray, you just spray it in here again. So break crust cleaner or carburetor cleaner. You spray it clean just like that. Installing. Just like that, just twist it. Let's go through it. That's gonna go right, right here. Once you've got it in, just tighten it, make sure it's nice and tight. No leaks. That's it. And this is right out. Air for the ghost. I'm just gonna clamp the hold it. Should have two. Open it up. And this comes out. Sprinkle it out. That'll come out. Out of the way, over the barrels, the top, and then there. And the filter, you twist it. You can see it goes in. See the way the arrows are? Lock and unlock. So to unlock it, you just gotta twist it. That way. And you take it out. Voila. Put the new one in. New filter's in. Locked in place. So here's the trick. You see that right there? You gotta unwind that. So that filter. So if it's not aligned, see that right there? It has to be aligned. What you do is you get it like this, make sure it's the filter's aligned, lock in place, and then you put that in there. And then you lock it. Because I had a lot of buddies of mine. Does we for work or who work on their own equipment and they have a hard time putting this on. So just for future reference, so everybody has an idea. It's not that hard. Let's get it aligned. Once you get it aligned, you get that clamp locked in place. This one right here is broken. We'll go ahead and put a zip tie just for safety. That's it. Now we just put uh, 15 quarts of oil. Already got a mark, 15 quarts. And uh, we'll turn it on. Get the engine hours. And on today's date, we should be set. After you put your 15 quarts of oil, sometimes you might have to prime it, sometimes you don't. You just turn it on and see what happens. In most cases, you don't have to. But if not, you just prime it and it'll start.
ports, check the oil, the reefer dust, turn on, shuts off. After you that canister, what you do is come here and open this up and come. this once you open it this prime and then once it's prime put the button on